So Steam, much like other platforms, is taking up a replay. If you open up Steam this morning, you'll find this notification here. Sit back, relax, and replay, view your Steam replay here. Of course, if you didn't get this notification, how else do we get here? Well, simply navigate across to the store page, assuming you're watching it sometime now, scroll down until you see this banner here. Replay your year now, Steam Replay 2022. By clicking this, it'll take you across to a page that tells you all about your year on Steam. In the top right, you can change your page visibility from public to friends only to private. It'll start on private, so you will need to share this if you'd like to send links to your friends. And as well, if you do share it, at the very bottom, you'll see your friends appear all the way down here. And of course, you'll appear for them if you do choose to share it with friends publicly. Now, starting at the very top, it basically says what your most played games are and the percentage of playtime for them that you have, as well as a few other stats. You can see I played a ton of demos, but that's because of the demo award or whatever that went around a few months ago. And of course, these stats will definitely be heavily swayed if you do something like idling games for cards and Steam. For example, I played 190 games with an average of 5 for Steam. It definitely blows them out of the water completely, but of course I do idle automatically for cards, so my stats will definitely be a bit off. Releases, favorites, classic games, and then we get a nice little chart over here telling us what we sort of play and our spread across the board. Badges, friends, etc. And a close look at the games that we played, in my case Dota, as well as when I played the most, Counter-Strike, Warzone, Rust, Forza Horizon, Playtime by Month, which is a really interesting stat here. If we hover over any of these, it'll tell us stats about that specific game. And of course, the bottom section is just everything else. In this case here, with 1,500 games played here, I'm pretty sure this is mostly just because of idling. This is my actual playtime here. Scrolling down further, your longest daily streak. This is how many days you played games on each day. And explore the games you played this year. We can have a grid view or a grid view by month to see what we played each month of the year. Obviously, the latter option is a lot bigger. At the very bottom, thank you for being part of Steam. Don't forget to share it with your friends. Once again, here's a sharing tool and some frequently asked questions at the very bottom. This ran between January 1st and December 14th, though I'm pretty sure that when they have a Steam replay next year, it'll count from December 15th all the way up to maybe December 15th or 14th, whatever. This is definitely something pretty cool that I do like seeing. Of course, many platforms have this, but it's a nice little feature to have. So how exactly do we get here later in the year if you missed it and you don't see the banner? In the description down below, you'll find the link. Essentially, it's store.steampower.com slash replay. When you head across them and sign in, you'll see your replay for the year. And of course, you can change between different years, assuming this goes on for multiple years, by changing 2022 from the URL to maybe 2023, etc, etc. Anyways, that's about it for this super quick guide. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao!